How do you think the economy is actually going? I'm worried about the economy. So we're in a situation where obviously the Fed is on hold. Um, you know, I agree that the Fed needs to see continued data. The last thing we want them to do is lower interest rates and, and not control inflation. But even if the Fed lowers rates to 3.5%, right. I think we're going to see 10-year Treasuries in the 4 to 4.5% range this for a long a time. Here. Andrew, did you, did you read this? Yeah, no, I did. 799 deodorant. It used to be 4, and, but it's not, that's an example right. of, of where it is. Things seem like... They are 40 or 50 percent right. higher than so, they were three years right. ago. So, so, here's so my as good as the right. economy seems to people right. that follow it. So my question, though, and I want, this is where I wanted to ask, very ask, ask, ask the former secretary about this. If you had been the secretary of the Treasury for this administ current administration, is there something you think you could have done and done better that would have changed the outcome in a material way? Meaning, I think there's a lot of economists uh, who look uh, at this and, and think actually things are pretty on a relative basis, compared to where we, we, they started the ball game and where we are today, they go, actually, that, that's a pretty great outcome. Again, looking relative to the rest of the world and, and recognizing that the Federal Reserve plays a huge role in all of these things. Well, let me just say I agree with your comment that even if inflation comes down, prices will stop right. at much higher levels, which is a real affordability issue. But, I mean, I think the simple answer is there was just too much government spending. I mean, I think when you look back in COVID, we needed to do the first two bills or there would have been a worldwide depression. We shouldn't have done the last trillion dollars in hindsight. And there shouldn't have been the continued multi-trillion dollar spending afterwards. The deficit is out of control. The debt is too high. Um, we had a debt pre-COVID that we were beginning right. to pay down. But do you think that, uh, that attacking those issues would have had an impact on inflation? Absolutely. The government spending is what caused inflation. It started in COVID and it continued on with multi-trillion Gas dollar Gasoline packages. is still up 50 percent higher. Than what it was. And, and if your paycheck is still below in real terms where it was three years ago, you're, if you're buying, and it is, average weekly Earnings are still below before Mr. Biden Secretary, came in. If you're worried about so the what are you economy, going to do? Are you, you have, also you don't have as much money? A, a stagflation situation. I am, and I think Jamie talked about that scenario. So I mean, I think we're, we're not out of the woods yet. So we're in a period of high interest rates. Um, I think the economy is going to slow down, and it's something we've got to carefully watch. Mr. Secretary, you still like a you still. Speak in guarded terms like a Treasury Secretary. Thank it's amazing. You, One, uh, you can't, you can't <laughs> get rid of it. You can't break it. Do you, do, you do you support a strong dollar? I support a stable <laughs> U.S. dollar. <laughs>